Yes, go ahead. Uh, Sheikh, uh, I wanted to know uh, the qualities of uh, the ideal caller to Islam. Of the ideal? Caller or da'iyah to Islam. Caller to Islam. Wow. <laughs> Not me, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, again, people differ. If you are a caller to Islam, does this mean that you have to have a, a, a bachelor deg degree? Does it, have, does it mean you have to have a certain certificate in training? Does it mean you have to look in a certain way or dress in a certain way? No. A perfect caller to Islam is one, a person who's practicing. I could have the best orator coming and talking eloquent words about Islam and the Muslims, but he's not practicing. He's not doing what he's preaching. So would he be a great caller? No. He would be a great radio station probably, but not a great caller to Islam. A, a, a person who calls others to Islam, he has to be practicing, he has to be knowledgeable, and he has to be sincere. So whatever he does, he doesn't do it for the money. He doesn't do it for the fame. He doesn't do it so that people would shake hands with and say, MashaAllah, you, you did a, a very good lecture, or I like your speech or programs. A great caller to Islam is the one who's sincere, knowledgeable, and at the same time, he looks at himself as a humble and humiliated servant of Allah. Sheikh, you say that uh, he should be knowledgeable. Okay, then uh, any person, um, many, many persons are not knowledgeable. Then uh, he can uh, say that I'm not a knowledgeable person. Uh, so uh, so uh, I have uh, I haven't to to uh, call to Islam. Uh, there are many uh, knowledgeable persons who can uh, do my or perform my role. Or do you recite? Role. Do you recite an ayah of the Quran? Do you know by heart one ayah of the Quran? Yes. Or more? More. <laughs> more. The Prophet said, <laughs> Convey on my behalf even one ayah. So by conveying one ayah, you're a caller to Islam. Brother, you don't have to be uh, uh, one of the great, 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 great scholars of Islam to be a da'i, to be a caller to Islam. If you teach the children how to recite Fatiha, chapter number one, you're a caller to Islam. If you teach your old grandmother how to say the adhkar after the salah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, 33 times, la ilaha illallah, wahdu la sharika, la mulku, alhamdu, al kulshi qadir, to finish the 100, you are a caller to Islam. If you invite your brothers or your friends at school to go and pray with you in the masjid, you're a caller to Islam. If you give someone a leaflet or a booklet or a cassette, all of these things are considered to be callers to Islam. You don't have to make a lecture or to uh, interpret uh, verses of the Quran or to give a commentary over uh, uh, hundreds of hadith to be a caller to Islam. So it is a must upon each one of us to call to Islam. It Definitely. Is it is a must to call to Islam all within our capability and reach. Whatever mm. your field is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very Thanks. good. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. I would like to thank our Sheikh uh, Awesome for being with us today. And I would like to thank you, Brother Kareem, as well. And, of course, thank our studio audience. Uh, but, like I said, that's all the time we've got for today's show. So we hope to see you next time, inshallah ta'ala. Until then, I'm Omar Dunlap wishing you peace. Assalamu alaikum. Oh.